Back into camp, how are you feeling? Yeah, good. Obviously, just so it was nice to be back. We always look forward to getting back in as a group and yeah, and just representing our country again, ready to go. Um, yeah, and two just really exciting games against Sweden. You had a bit of a break compared to maybe some of the WSL players. How are you feeling yourself? Yeah, good. I think I hopefully had that fine balance of having a little rest, but then also yeah, kind of continuing on training. I think that's yeah, that's important for me. I wasn't ready to you know, switch off completely, had my little moments, but yeah, just been just been back training and, you know, making sure that I'm, I'm fit, and, fit and ready as I can for the team. A lot of the squad are coming back into camp after fairly successful runs, you mm. have like Caitlin with Celtic, Leanne yeah. getting her hat trick, I mean, you could list off a lot mm. of them. How good is that for the group going into these games? Yeah, it was great, obviously, even the EFA FA Cup, um, yeah, it's just been, it has, it's just been an amazing end of season and yeah, you know, everyone is playing with top quality teams that are competing for trophies. Um, yeah, and they've, and they've proven themselves and obviously, yeah, I was, yeah, I was watching the Chelsea United game at the time, but then I see Leanne is scoring hat-tricks after 15 minutes, I don't know what, you know what I mean, or 30 minutes. Yeah, she's, you know, she's, that is ridiculous. She's uh that's her specialty as well, it seems, you know what I mean? She can have such a such an impact, you know, at whatever stage of the game she comes on. So, yeah, it was just great to see. Mm. And from an international side, how are you feeling going into the Sweden games? We've obviously had big results against them before. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the games that we've had, we've come really close at times mm -hmm. to getting a good result. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's always definitely a tough game, um, very physically, mentally. Um, tough yeah because they're just they are just so organized they're very powerful physical um, and yeah there's definitely been tight games we've always put it to them I think you know we still do that with with a lot of teams um, but yeah but Sweden really really do have this quality they show it in tournaments um, all the time in terms of their quality and how far they can get and you know break down the the bigger teams that are even ranked above them um, you know they just they do have this special quality I suppose yeah even just playing there it's just about it's just organized they understand the shape they you know they have this way of playing and they do it almost to perfection um, every time so yeah we've we're gonna have our hands full for sure but yeah we know we've we've had some decent results against them you know it's still not a win and that's what we want but that's you know at some stage we hope to change that Louise, what have you sort of taken from the first two games? <clears throat> what lessons? I know it's a broad question, but mm. you know, what, what did you take out of those first two matches? Um, yeah, I think just, first of all, yeah, stepping up to a new level of intensity. Um, you know, because there was just going to be, you know, as soon as you're finished one game, you're like, right, well, we have we've just played France and now we have England and next to Sweden. You know, there's no... Yeah, you have to quickly reflect and try to figure out what you need to change. And yeah, I just think obviously the the tempo of the game again was lifted. Um, constant quality of players everywhere. I think yeah, you know, I think we put more of a performance in the in the second half of both of the games. Um, you know, so I think it's just trying to monitor on on little bits that we can we can improve on and. Um, you know, exploit Sweden's weaknesses, but yeah, use our strengths and where can that be? You know, potentially we can, who knows? I just think stay in the game a bit more, not just not just drop off as quick. And, you know, I think that's, it is, it's down to us. It's hard to, you have to be really brave to be able to keep, you know, a higher line. So, you know, that could be something we might look into. Yeah, I, I think I've said to you before that in, during the Nations League, yourself, <laughs> Diane had some of the highest running stats like in terms mm. of distance covered mm. because we're playing really high, obviously not, not a strong opposition but yeah, yeah. the game, the game mm. in that way. First two games where it naturally happens, the teams you're playing are so mm. good that you, you can sink deeper. But yeah, it is yeah. the intention to continue to, to play quite high and, and try and take it even to teams as good as Sweden and England. Um, you were going to have to ask Ilo that question. Um, I... Yeah, I think it's it is just by finding a, fo a like that fine balance, um, you know. At the same time as well, like you can you can see it in all 
football, men's, women's across the leagues. You know, sitting deep as well is is a is a proper tactic. It's you know it's how they do it. You even see Liverpool do it, and then they're the best, one of the best counter attack teams. It's not a sign of weakness either, but I think it's if you make sure that you do it correctly. Um, you know, and maybe again that's something that we need to to work on. It's you know we have gone from League B uh, teams that are ranked lower than us. And now we've made this massive jump, have the best teams in the world. Um, yeah, and those things that we were maybe good at, we still have to, that's, that's a big, big jump um, in terms of that, in terms of getting up to that pace. And yeah, I think it's kind of that thing where we've shown it for one half of a game. Do you know what I mean? That's there and we can do it. We can actually do it. It's not, um, it's not out of our grasp at all, but it's... Uh, yeah, that's something we're just going to have to start working on now because yeah, we, we, we don't know yet. It's going to be really yeah. difficult to catch the top like, in France and finish in the top two. That was always going to be difficult. Mm. But this, like, finishing third is really yeah. significant mm -hmm. because I think I'm right in saying that we then avoid relegation back to League B mm -hmm. in the Nations League. So, so this double header is massive yeah, yeah. just in that regard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's constant. We want to pick up points wherever we can, everywhere we can, but um, yeah, the fact we have it at the moment, um, you know, we can def definitely take positive things from the last few games, but yeah, we need to start translating that into into points. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's always incredibly important. We want to finish as best as we can. Obviously, I haven't even, yeah, that may only be third now, you know, from even looking at the table, I'm not sure, but that's it, yeah, we're just going to just want to try to get points on the board and yeah, prove to ourselves as well why we, why we are in this league. Again, we've, you know, we know that we've performed well in moments, but people are just going to see points on the board really as well, do you know what I mean? But for us, it's good for, you know, all, all of this is good for our development and where we want to go. Can I ask then, just, just finally, Louise, um, did you listen to Vera's interview? She gave a, an interview with Richie Sadler, um, his podcast. Did, mm. did you listen to that interview? Um, I listened to a bit of it, but yeah, I didn't get to finish it, yeah. That she was full of praise for you mm. and the support that you showed her um, mm -hmm. throughout her, her tenure generally, but particularly around the time when she publicly Mm -hmm. uh, spoke about uh, her sexual abuse. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, how do you sort of reflect on your own relationship with Vera overall now, coming back on the time you spent together? Yeah, like that was. Yeah, and it still meant every word I said. Obviously, at the time that, you know, that happened. That's the, yeah, a very difficult situation to to try deal with. And yeah, we're a team, we're a squad, and you know, we we stick together. So. Yeah, that was, you know, myself and Vera just, just kind of, I don't know, I'm quite easy going. I just, I just get on with things, you know, I don't, um, I just do whatever it takes to make sure that I'm there for the team and in whatever role that is. And um, yeah, and that's it, obviously trying to work my hardest, making sure that I'm getting picked for the team. And then, you know, in other situations, I was just easy going, just being myself, just you know, doing whatever, so obviously that was, yeah, you know, she, she praised me there and then hopefully, yeah, overall she, you know, she had that respect for me as well, the respect that I had for her as well, obviously getting us, you know, getting us to a World Cup, um, it's huge, massive, so, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it was interesting, but that's it. Thanks, Louise. Uh, just, it was just on, the results, it's added, um, looking at it, club football, if results are going bad or whatever, you can bounce mm. back the plane, because is it, is it a bit frustrating the fact that you can't kind of almost put a result right almost straight away? From, from, like the, last which, from the last camps? Um, yeah, I think obviously that was, um, it is tough, it's like, you know, because as soon as you finish that game on a Tuesday, you know, you're back in club either Wednesday, Thursday, and then you're straight into, yeah, you do kind of have to shift your focus. It's, I still think it's important for us. They obviously encourage us and give us the clips and everything to watch. And I do think it's, it's important to do it, you know, almost as soon as, soon as you can post-game because it's, 
yeah, it's a little bit easier to kind of just take that in in the moment instead of waiting, letting things linger, maybe thinking what you could have could or couldn't have done better. Um, yeah, so it's it's tough, but we're we are used to it now. That's where we've played. You know, a lot of us have played international football for plenty of years, and it's that's just the name of the game. You have to play a game and then maybe not play one again for another couple of months. And um, yeah, that's just it. And we've got to just keep going with the flow with that. Spoke there about the potential third place, um, mm. you know, staying in the group. Now, is, is that easier now that you have something, I suppose, more to play for than uh, with these two games coming up? Um, no, it's. I suppose it's yeah. It's maybe not making it easier. It's still just, you know, the same for us. We are still trying to to get points in every game. Yes, it's you know you've got to be realistic in terms of the opponents, but. You know, we we have pushed teams, you know, even England in that second half. You know, we probably had two and two, three of the best chances, you know, that we probably should have definitely scored. Um, you know, and then, yeah, that just brings it in the game. Obviously, us maybe scoring one goal, it changes England's way of what they're like, you know, of what they were doing. But, yeah, I felt like still they were 2 0 up, but I think. Even us, we, we put the pressure on them. We we changed what they wanted to do, um, you know, and we we pushed them back. And yeah, it was disappointing. I think yeah, for ourselves, for the you know the crowd that was there, that we couldn't convert one of the chances. But yeah, we're just kind of here now in these these games to kind of just um, yeah fix some of those areas, what we can work on, and yeah, just getting back to the Aviva as well as is important for us and it's yeah it's all learning we're all constantly developing um in probably potentially one of the most intense situations possible you know it's i'm not sure you could get a harder group even in a in tournament football to be honest so you know we've really just we've just got to adapt and do it and it's, and it is it's it's amazing to see you know on a constant basis what the top five teams in the world how they play because yeah this is an unbelievable learning curve because yeah you don't have time to to rest about it you just need to you need to get on and do it thanks very much thanks guys